Hi guys, so as you can see I'm sat inside the M4 and I've decided to do some small modifications to the car. So um, about six months ago I had seen a video on YouTube and the guy actually swapped his stop start button for a blue one and I thought this was really cool. Um, I really really wanted one ever since I'd seen the video but the link that he shared, the actual postage, postage itself because I live here in the UK cost more than the actual switch itself so I had to do some digging around and I've seen a blue button on eBay and it was only about £5 and I know it came all the way from China but it was well worth the wait, it came about three weeks later and I have the same button here so I'm going to try and fit that today and um, hopefully it's a direct fit so we'll see later on when I try and fit it. Another item that I'm doing on the M4 are these 3D shadow lights, um, also known as puddle lights, welcome lights, projector lights um, on the bottom of the door. So I'll be installing them today as well and I'll be showing you guys how I do it. Okay, so I'm just going to use these prying tools that I got cheap off eBay. I'm just going to stick this one in the top here and then pull it up. And then I'm going to use the other one to run it along the side. And then it should actually clip out. Oh, here we go. Right then, so let's see what we've got here. Right, right, so there's a clip here, and there's one there, and there and there, so yeah, they go all the way around. So I'm just going to use my nail to unclip these. You can use a screwdriver. Right, okay, bit fiddly. Right, here we go. Now that's off. Perfect. Okay, so I have pulled out the stop start button and behind here there are two clips. Um, you see these holes here? The two clips there. And I'll show you on the back of the other one. So there's two clips. These two clips here are inside there. So you have to clip them out with a screwdriver, small one. So I'll just clip in there. Unhook it. Oh. Um, this is quite difficult. Unhook it on both sides. Oh, here we go. So that should come out right then. Let's see if these two, yeah, they look, they look like they're the same size. Look like the clips are in the right spot. So let's get rid of that one. Let's put the blue one back in. Which way around? That way around. Don't put it in the wrong way. Okay. See if the clips match up. Let's have a look. Hmm, I think they do. Right. So there's the blue button. Let's put this back together and see how it works. Okay, so put this back on here. Right, moment of truth. Now 
Right, so underneath the door light, you see there's a little there's a little hole here which you can put your screwdriver or your pry tool in. So you just stick that in there and unclip the lights. Here we go. And pull this down. Oh, the wire connection wasn't even in properly, but that's how it comes out. So here's the new projector light. You've got the two pins here, um, which go into this plug. You see where the two wires are? So you need to line it up to those two wires. Here we go, turned on. And these projector lights that I got are the the M sign. Can you see it on the hand there? So when the door opens, you can see these on the floor. So let's install that back in here. Clip it in. Let's make sure it's pointing the right way. And yes it is. So we will see how these look at night time. Okay, so it's slightly darker outside now. So let's see how these puddle lights look. Ah, okay. Yeah, they're not bad at all. I'm happy with that. So that's it for now guys. Some simple, easy and cheap things to do to the M4. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. But until then, drive safe and stay safe. Bye.